Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapring Chronicles. Today we're back at you with a tool video, kind of a utility tool. Uh, more specifically, a foldable utility shovel. And this is another item from Harbor Freight. And recently they had a coupon for this. And usually this sells for $14.99, $15. And the coupon was for $11.99, $12. So uh, a $3, $3 off, like 20% off coupon. And uh, I've been wanting kind of a foldable shovel because, I don't know, uh, I usually carry a snow shovel in the winter in my car for the snow just in case you know anything pops up I carry it in my trunk uh, and I wanted I have an old really old f kind of foldable shovel that it doesn't fold the handle doesn't fold all the way it's like one of those old like it's, it's not it's not an American made I could tell it's, the quality ain't that great I found it one day I don't I don't even know where it was on the street I think I found it and it's one of those partially collapsible it has a folding head but the stick is wood and it's uh, the stick doesn't fold and I have one of those and I've had that in my uh, in my car for years and that was okay for breaking ice and stuff or breaking like uh, heavy snow that's like iced up so but the the shovel part is kind of soft and you can tell where it hit the ground it bent and stuff like that so i figured oh maybe it's time for a new shovel foldable shovel and guys who are gi's uh guys who are vets they kind of recognize these shovels if uh they were like i guess post vietnam vets these were the style of shovel that uh, the military uh, use still has I'm not even sure what they have now I know that some of them went to a Gerber uh, shovel recently I've been seeing uh, some GI Gerber shovels and the Gerber shovel is a lot like this one and I'll show you how so here's uh, some of the packaging it has a storage bag included foldable utility shovel the item number on this is 57703 and here it's uh 22 and a half inches shovel folds to nine and a half inches for easy storage heavy duty power coated steel construction convenient canvas storage bag and we'll look at that canvas storage bag in a second and here's a picture of it I guess folding and this is made of course in China so let's open this up okay first thing to get out of the way is the storage bag it's a joke this is more of a storage cover I don't it has a, a belt loop in the back but it's it looks like a belt loop is made of very flimsy material I, I don't see it like you putting this in your belt and it holding for that long it's very cheap has a little bit of velcro here and it does fit in this but like I said this is more like a cover I wouldn't call this a case or a carrying case for the field it might last maybe a day or two and then it'll fall apart okay and here's the tool uh, right off the bat let me tell you this handle is plastic this this middle part handle is also plastic with uh, some metal parts we're gonna we're gonna tear this one down and show you all the parts that go into this but when you get it it's like this and make sure it's it's loose to where you have space here 
like that to uh, maneuver because this you're gonna have to fold the handle like that and then fold it over like that and this is where you tighten it this this is like a screw a threaded part screws and then you tighten it to where there's no you can't fold it back over and here is what it looks like when it's in the ready position and there's another position you can use uh, you can use this kind of as a hole if you loosen it and then tighten it in this position like that and then now you can you can pick with it kinda so it has those two positions and I remember in the military uh, this position comes in handy with when you want to break up uh, soil or whatever so you would like chop it up and then you would straighten out the handle and get it back into a shovel regular shovel position and then you can just shovel uh, but uh, when I was in the military we didn't have these plastic ones or the Gerber type ones we had uh, something similar but it was all metal it was all metal it kind of looked like the one they sell at Walmart but a lot better uh, the ones this these kind of civilian ones are kind of a bit cheap cheaper made than the original military ones the military ones were a lot more um, sturdy you can say and I guess it made sense because if you're a soldier you're gonna use these uh, and you need to rely on them so you would need something reliable and not something flimsy that's gonna like tear apart or fall apart as soon as you use it okay and it says it has serrations these serrations don't feel like very serrated just feel like little little tiny bumps you can hardly feel them there so if you, you're gonna cut with this I don't see a point uh, you might have to file these down a little bit to get real serrations so you can actually cut with something uh, there's a, a, a bevel here on the edge of this side and the back portion here is turned over a little bit I guess so you could put your foot on there and really put some weight if you need to okay uh, to take this apart you're gonna need a six millimeter uh, hex hex key so and what you do you have this screw here and the screw is already held in a hex uh, kind of cut out so you don't have to you don't really need another another like wrench or anything to hold it and you just get this off and here's the bolt this is what it looks like and uh, here's the nut it looks like there's a little bit of loctite in there I didn't really feel a lot of resistance though when I was taking it off here is the plastic handle and the holder and everything for the screw and the bolt goes through plastic there's no metal there at all anchoring anything so this is a whole plastic part it's kind of light okay now here is the threaded part 
that uh, you thread to open and close the the shovel also made of plastic the threads here and this shaft made of plastic uh, that kind of gives me pause I'm not sure with a lot of use how durable this plastic thread is going to be that's to be seen so and then there has this little plate here on the plate you can see already there's some rust there's a little bit of pitting and rusting on this little metal plate that goes over here then there's two springs one on each side these I guess are there to pick up the slack remember when I was pulling it down it was kind of springing so these are for that there's two springs and then now there's the handle and this handle is just a plastic tube and then there's a pin here in the middle with a hole this is metal this is all metal here and this handle fits over this metal here like that and then it has this metal bottom that kind of when you when you press down wait a second all right when you press down there is a metal plate there that sits against the the shovel head part so there's this metal part here and that goes into a cutout on the plastic handle okay so that's plastic the bottom has the metal plate and then you have this little pin in the middle that uh, the two springs kind of right on on each side and that goes in here and you can see the pin looks like it's been a little bit rusted already this is brand new and haven't I just bought it today so I haven't used these if there's rust there it's it was from the factory and here are the metal parts there's this uh, beam here that like I said it the handle goes over that and this is bolted here to the shovel head the shovel head is held this part and the beam is held to the flat shovel part by some rivets there's three rivets you can see you can see these two pretty easy and the other rivet is here in the back on the Gerber shovel uh, the military one or the USA one they are actually welded and this piece here is actually welded and there are no rivets on the connecting this part here to the head so it wouldn't have these rivets it would be welded and yeah that's about it this is what makes this up this like I said this was $15 with the coupon if you go now uh, I, I believe up to the third uh no the sixth of march the coupon is good until the sixth of march and you can get this for 11.99 my thoughts on this uh mm, i i'm not too uh happy or i'm not too confident with this construction uh i haven't used this so I have no practical experience but just from the material I'm kind of leery the plastic 
is kind of uh, a little bit worrisome for me. I don't know. I just, unless it's like some super duper high tech, you know, space age, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't, I wouldn't want to rely or stake my life on a shovel that has primary parts made of plastic, especially when you have metal parts that are rubbing against and are connected to the plastic without any like metal uh, shielding the plastic from the metal parts it's I don't know and one major part that I kind of find worrisome is these plastic like I said threads that this that the shovel pretty much relies on because it's this is how you tighten it and unfold and fold the shovel and what's keeping it together is these plastic threads so uh, just my thought on it and I guess to put this together it's pretty simple you just do it in the reverse order I don't want to spend another three minutes doing this and take up a lot of your time so yeah that's it so uh, for twelve dollars I guess yeah I guess yeah it's not too bad uh, but if you really wanted something really like good or or you know heavy duty I don't know the old metal US made GI ones were pretty bulletproof they were pretty heavy duty those I would be confident in those uh, these plastic ones I think I'm not sure if you guys have any experience with the Gerber one but that one looks the same as this that one looks like it's plastic the handles plastic it looks similar in construction to this one so I'm not even sure about that one even though that that's made in USA and that is a GI one so I don't know well I'm gonna keep this in my car and hopefully it will serve okay guys until next time